Hi, Marvin. What's up, Marvin? How you doing? Good. How good. are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. What's that's your that's name? not my name, though. My name is actually Dion. Dion. I was close, though. It was the D. You were close. You said Derek. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Nice. Shot town. Yeah. I've been to Chicago once. You had any other food? Yeah, so um, it's a pizza spot. It starts with a G. G. Giordano's. Yeah. yeah. That's is, one of the. That's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> the um the person I was there with, they told me like between that place and another place, and I think that was their favorite place. It, it's been like some years. That was probably like 2015. There's so many pizza joints like Chicago, like the number one city when it comes to food, better than L.A., better than New York. Really? You know, we got like we got a very uh big variety of different ethnic foods, local foods mm-hmm. all over the world. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like Chicago. It's nice. All right. So um what do you think uh about Charlie? I like <laughs> Charlie hair. She got a nice she got a nice curly hair, you know. Oh, get up. I like it. I like the I like the natural look though, so yeah, it took me some years to get here. I used to it like smell good. Your hair smell good. Yeah, a lot of people say that. What it, <laughs> it does. Okay, okay. <laughs> it does. <laughs> right, right. I want to first, Melly. I want to say I appreciate you for letting me come on your live. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. I'm happy you could join. Oh, well, he's nice. What's yes. your sign? I'm a Gemini. My birthday is May 25th. Gemini again. What is, what is it? <laughs> Okay, so we got to talk because we got to see the other side of you. It's going to come out. Okay. <laughs> you said the other side will come out. No, no, you, you sound like you have it under control, though. Yeah, yeah, I do. To the, for the most part, yeah, I do. For, for the, the most, most part. part. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while. It took a while. But usually, I, I, I think the way that I calm down is just I just walk away sometimes. You know, get some alone time. You know, I'll be all right after that. He said, "Honey man, I don't know, money man. You see no, it? He, he said, money man. <laughs> who is money man? I don't know who that is. Who that is? You don't know the rapper, money man. Okay. All right. Well, uh, since you like what you see, where would you take Charlie out on a first date? I would take Charlie. 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 <laughs> Charlie. Charlie." Oh. Charlie. I, I'm not gonna be home, I know it's, it's hard to pronounce my name. So. In Chicago, we'd be like, "What up, Charlie?" You know, or we'd be like, "What up, Charlie?" You know, something <laughs> like that. Hey, That's Charlie, how we would. I, would, I would take her on a um, brunch, and I would take her to someone a, a place that I would like to go, like an art museum or maybe an art gallery. Or I ask, I I would ask her what what type of stuff she like first, because I'm considerate like that, you know. Um, it could be like a miss between what I like and what she likes, so that we we both can have fun. I like art. I'm I'm big on art. Right. And I like to eat. What you like? To, hold on. How old are you? I'm 35. Ah, oh, finally a grown person. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you like to drink? Me, I don't drink as much, but I, if I do drink, I like to drink uh, cognac and uh, tequila. Can you see? No, that was when I was younger. I like drinking Douce. Douce? Okay. Yeah, I like Hennessy. I like Douce. And I like tequila. I don't she really like it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like, I like Hennessy, Douce. Like, I like cognac. And then I like um, tequila. I don't like vodka. Yeah. Right, yeah. Vodka give me hangovers. I can't do it. For sure. That's like drinking it. alcohol to me. Yeah. 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 I, but I, when, I was, when I was younger, I used to drink cognac all the time. Remy, Henny, Remy, Henny, every night you was drinking that. Yeah, so I lived in Atlanta for eight years, and um, I worked in a club. That's how I know um, this girl. Mm -hmm. I was a a bottle, I did bottle service, and um, we had like Hennessy reps that would always come in, so I um, started drinking Hennessy, and I took a lot to it. Because before then, I really didn't drink because I didn't like vodka, and so I was introduced to that. So. How was your experience with it? Were, were people aggressive with you? Like, what's, what's, what was your problems and cons about this? Uh, working in a club? Yeah. Yeah, I used to, they used to always say I was the aggressive waitress because I used to like, <laughs> 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 I 
because men, because you know, they make us wear like those little outfits or whatever, in which I get it comes with the job, but like it's a difference between flirting with me and then trying to like grab my body parts. Yeah. Well, I always had like a little Don't twist and touch move. me, like, so, like, like try to grab me, and I would go like, <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I would always, you know, get a little trouble over that. I'm just trying to break people's arms. No. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's disrespectful, though. People, you know, to mad their hands, mad their mother hands. Yeah, mm-hmm. it didn't matter how big I was. They still was going to try it. <laughs> yeah. Where, but, you, where are you from? I'm originally from South Carolina. Oh, right. I did say that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from the South, so I like to eat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not, I, I like to eat. <laughs> I love Southern food. I love, yeah, home cooked meals. So yeah. So so I have a question. When you're taking her out, oh. are you uh, you have snacks? No, like <laughs> I don't know. It's like like I don't know if it's like because your couch is so new, like the little the little fur. Yeah, the furs. Like, yeah. So are you uh, paying for the bill? Of course, are you? Okay. I, I don't know. I've been out on dates and guys are telling me we're splitting or if I offer to pay, they let me pay. So I, I'm wondering where you, what you're thinking. It wasn't always like that. I think the first few dates, it, the man should pay. You okay. know, I think, I, I think if you're trying to impress a woman, you definitely should accommodate her, you know, and then as down the line, she should be able to, to take her man out and, and do things for him as well, you know, but the woman should never, like, take the boat. Or, you know, even if she's making more money than him, you know, he should still, you know, suffice with what he has and, you know, just plan it out and be very considerate. Yeah. So you okay with paying for a few dates? Yeah. I mean, it's, as long as it's not a regular thing, because <laughs> I can have a kid. <laughs> I mean... This is the thing. I'm I'm from the South and like my dad, like, you know, was very present and I'm I'm fortunate for that. So my dad spoiled me. So I'm like a daddy's girl. So my right. dad kinda already like show me how to tr- show me how I want to be treated, basically. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like he took me on daddy daughter dates, you know, he opens up my car door, he buys me flowers, mm. he's always been my Valentine's Day, uh Valentine's. And even like for my birthday when I was a kid, he would always put my picture in the newspaper to wish me a happy birthday. Oh, that's crazy. Damn, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, so like Damn, we gotta compete with that, y'all. Yeah, man. exactly. So, so you better come correct. So my dad set the bar like pretty like pretty high. So it's like, but I mean, I don't expect all that. You know, like like that's my dad and I get it and I get the message. But it's like certain things I'm okay with and certain things I'm just not okay with. Right. But, um but I, I'm just at an age where if I'm dating you, it has to, we're building for like a partnership. So I'm not just dating to date. And right. um, and I don't ever want to enter something and money be an issue. Right. You know, so it's like, cause like who who wants to sit here and talk about that all the time? Like, oh my God, who, like, who has to pay for this? Who has to pay for that? If anything, I'd rather us be fighting over the bill versus <laughs> concerned about who's going to pay for it. Yeah. So I, I really don't like dating needy women, like mm-hmm. because you created those bills yourself. So right. why would I come in? I, I'm trying to get to know you. I should not be paying your bills. You know, let's that's maybe six months, seven, six months to a year down the line, and I see your spending habits. You see how I spend my money, and we can put our monies together and make something happen, and then support each other individually. Whatever we're we'll doing on the side, but. As right. far as like, oh, you gotta no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, and I also feel at a certain age, why are you not paying your own rent? Like, why would you look for someone else to do it? Yeah. Like, if somebody offers and they that's fine and dandy, mm-hmm. but realistically, you should all your bills should be covered. You shouldn't expect a stranger to do that. Yeah, because some men can be a you know <laughs> controller when they're able to do that for women, you know. So you gotta be careful with that. When it, when you're a woman, and then if you're a man and you more on the side where you allowing a woman to do that, you gotta he gotta be careful with that too. So you know. Yeah. yeah. So, so what so are you looking for in a partner? Say say that again. What are you looking for in a partner. Somebody that's funny. Somebody that's willing, you know, to go on adventures. A little bit got a little dangerous edge to herself. Maybe hiking. Maybe uh, race car driving. We could go to the gun range. 
you know, shark diving, you know, something like that. Something I never did, you know. <laughs> shark diving, I'm not sure. Swimming with sharks. You think? No, no. She's not doing that. Like, how, how many teeth do I have? Uh -uh. <laughs> You'll be inside a cage. <laughs> Ew, hell no. Scared. Me up for that. I'll watch. Right. Yes. But I don't think I can. So I have a question. Are you athletic? I'm kind of sort of. I'm a truck driver, so. Oh, okay. A lot of times we just sit on our ass and drive. That's about it. How do you but like I, I try to stay as active as I can, though. I have gained some weight recently. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait I'm, to I'm slim, though. Do you have kids? Yes, I do have children. How many? I have seven children. You are lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> How many? Is 15. How many moms? An ex-wife and four uh, ex-girlfriends. No, he's lying. You don't have seven. I'm not lying, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's done. But hold on, hold on. He said four, five, we, four with his ex-wife and four. No, no one with my ex-wife, and then I have some children with my four ex-girlfriends. Okay. So five moms, seven kids. Right. Question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how long were you married? I was married for like two years. It was pretty fast. We moved pretty quickly, you know. It was a learning experience. So okay. So your your girlfriends, they you dated them before you met your wife? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. So seven though. You how? You, you can you can deal with that? No. I don't, I don't, I, I can't do the, um, the baby mama thing. That's the baby dumb. mama thing. I don't call them baby mamas. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean it to disrespect anyone, but the, um, the mother of your children, I, I, I don't date men with kids already because do you I have children. No, I don't. And I've you done don't. that before and it was just a little bit too much drama for me. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry, it's my dad calling. That's <laughs> understandable. You, I understand. You want to, you want to start fresh with somebody who yeah. don't have no children, and then y'all grow with it. No, I understand. That's nice. So, your kids, are you very close to them? Yeah, with my oldest son and my youngest, one of my youngest children. Like, it, they live in different places. One of my youngest sons stays in Atlanta, so I'm not really too close with him. Sometimes I just go visit. But okay. my other children, they're here. You know, sometimes it can be difficult, you know, when you got different personalities. But for the most part, I'm, I'm doing what I got to do for my children. That's my good. Children That's yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, that's <laughs> kind of a deal breaker. So, so we're going to go. Okay, okay. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yes, thank you for coming. I really enjoyed your conversation. And thank and I'm you glad you told the truth about your situation. Because yeah. you know, a bunch of men would like you lie, yeah. For oh, sure. You know, I ain't got no kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, no. I, hey, somebody well, before I go, somebody that I knew told me they was like, You should stop telling people how many kids you got. At that time I had five children. They was like, man, you should just last say you don't have that many kids. I'm like, bro, why would I deny my kids? Because yeah. if you can't even accept my children, then it's definitely a wrap. You know, yeah, my children like, are important to me. Yeah, exactly. if you don't say, yeah, like don't ever do that. And then honestly, you're you're gonna find that person. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I got my pops sending you some beats, Millie. Hopefully, he sends you some beats. Oh shit! Send me shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Later. All right. Later. Bye. He was nice. I know he was super nice. But yeah. I Somebody mean, said he's a good dad. He probably is. Probably he seems is. like he is. Yeah. It's just like the, the kid thing. Yeah, me too. I dated a dude with um, uh, a, a kid. And the, the lady was just crazy coming to my house doing the most. Like, I was like, no, I can't deal with that. Were you dating a guy that had kids? Yeah. Yeah. I just know. one. She was. I was like, no, I can't. Yeah. I did it. And the girl was calling my phone. Exactly. And it's just like, what? And then it makes you feel like, are you guys still together? Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Why is she calling me? But apparently she still want him, but nothing is going on. I don't know if that's true. But yeah. It just comes with too many problems. Yeah. In my experience, so I just try to stay away. For sure. Now, maybe one, if I really like the guy. One might be all right, but, but that's, yeah.